Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle, and I'm here with Voltron. Yes, Voltron, but not the uh, Lion Force Voltron. This is the Vehicle Voltron, though that's not a canonical name. But he's a small version of Voltron in vehicle mode. I got him for a pretty inexpensive price, and I'm gonna go through him real quick, and you can see if you're a Vehicle Voltron fan, if he's worth it to add to your collection. Be right back. So as I said, I've been a fan of Voltron for a very long time. I grew up watching Voltron, Defender of the Universe, both the vehicle and the lion version. Of course, everyone likes the lions better, but I did like the vehicle guys. Seat team, separate. You know, just, it was a very cool show and I liked the crossover that they did. Now I saw this, it was like 11 bucks plus a dollar shipping. So I'm like, I have a, Lion Voltron over there, full size. This is a small one, obviously. He's like a hair shy of eight inches tall. But I figured I'd grab him, he'd look nice on the shelf. And I got him and I have to say, he's okay. If you're really serious about your vehicle Voltrons, I'm not gonna say this is the one that you should get. Cause it doesn't even come apart all the way. It's kind of disappointing. It does come apart, but not into the full 15 vehicles. I mean, you've got these, spaceship type land vehicles and because of the knee joints they don't come apart so you got two parts you got the feet you've got this part which could be some kind of submarine maybe and this part which is unidentifiable and you can take the uh the jet off the chest the head doesn't really seem to come off and i don't want to break it the arms pop off but the forearms don't come off, so they're like weird looking helicopters. Helicopters, the cars attached to the back. And then this, I mean, you could turn it around and you could kind of make it a, a space vehicle. So instead of 15 vehicles, this is, this is 10. So that would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 right there, but these parts don't come apart. Still 11 bucks plus a dollar shipping. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I'm okay with this. This is not a horrible thing. Now if I can remember how to put them back together. I sound like Peter Griffin doing the Voltron theme. Hello, Peter, Lion Force guy. All right, that was probably a very bad impression. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. And I'll form the chest. Form blazing sword. So I got him back together. And you know, like I said, he's not bad for display. I mean, I'm not planning on really playing with him too much. And I'm not gonna try to take off the rotors cause they feel like they might, but they might not go back on. It's a cheap little toy, mainly for display, I would say. But if you're into vehicle Voltron and you want him to face down Robeasts, then, uh, this might be the toy for you. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. I'm not like highly recommending it, but kind of cool. And besides, Peter Cullen uh, narrated the beginning. Days of long ago came Voltron. I can't do Peter Cullen. Frank Wilker, a little bit, sometimes, some voices, like 1.1%. But still, cool defender of the universe. One of the uh, most popular non-transformer combining forces, combining uh, vehicles into a super robot, you know, out there. So, uh, but if you're more into the transformers that combine, well, just check out this one over here, which uh, is Devastator, of course. How many Devastators can I have? Not enough. And of course, if you like this video, like, subscribe, notification bell. Super thanks, it'd be awesome. We'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.